Hi everybody, how's it going? I hope you're having a good day. Looks like Aptera is taking that step further. They look like they're getting the Aptera PI2 ready and they are making some big moves. So we're going to talk about that. So let's get into this baby right now. All right, welcome back to my channel. It's good to have you here. Thank you for joining me. And I thank everybody for catching up with what Aptera is doing now with me. And right now they are continuing to make moves as far as getting the PI 2, 3, and 4 out. And they actually had some help. My last video talked about the engineers coming over from CPC, helping them to put the Aptera together. And you can see in this picture here, which is what I talked about last week, that they've added the crossbar to the carbon fiber tub that they came out with. And of course, this is an essential piece because it helps hold a lot of the material together in the Aptera, uh, such as the view screen and air exchange is going to go at and the vents and all that. But they've also done something else. And you could take a look at this picture here and you can see that they've added the drivetrain the EMR3 to the to the bank and so as you look at that picture you can see that this is really a tight fit they they have really got that motor in there that is pretty tight but if you remember from the last pictures I showed you, as far as when they did the, the chassis and they had the rendition of the, as a matter of fact, let me just show that to you. All right, so this is the 3D model of what the chassis is supposed to look like with all the components to it. And let me blow this up a little bit. You can tell that they are really squeezing everything in this model. And right after this, of course, you don't see the crossbar in here. And there's a couple of other things that you don't see. But this is just before they put the um, tub and the seats and the bank on top of this. And you can see how tight the motor is in there. So it's going to be a really tight fit when they get done with this. Uh, actually, let me give you a better view. Let me let me bring up another picture. Hold on. And you can see in this rendition that the photograph that they took is actually elevated. So you can see it a little better. Let me blow that up. So there you can see, oh, there is no room whatsoever. So the motor, when they redesigned this, because remember, at first, they was going to use hub motors, and all oh, this was basically going to be open. I mean, there was a couple of components in there, but not very much. So there was a pretty good bit of room in there, but they still had to redesign the chassis to um, get the motor to fit in there since it's uh, running both wheels on the front. See, this was the last chassis shot that we got before they changed it because the motors were going to be in wheel motors. They, the motors were actually going to be inside the wheels itself. And so there was really nothing needed in between here. And you can see how thin that the chassis is in the front to help protect the occupants in the vehicle. And so here's another shot as well. There's nothing but open space in the middle. And you can even tell that the shock absorbers have uh, also changed, but now that they're putting the motor in the middle, they had to make all this thicker and heavier to support that motor and be able to handle the torque. And so they had to make some changes. And they made it to this. And you can see that the frame here is much thicker they cut that part off and added um, SMC. So they did some wonderful things. And no doubt there's no reason why that they are actually doing that. Because the people that work at Aptera, they really want to be there. 
Well, one thing I would like to add, and I'm interjecting myself here, I had the pleasure of going down and seeing the facility and literally talking to every employee they had. These are some of the most brilliant people I've ever had the pleasure of meeting. They could work at NASA, SpaceX, Meta, Google, Apple, um, Lockheed Martin, and they choose to work at this company because they're so passionate about it. And I have never seen that before in any other uh industry any other opportunity i think you will yeah we're blessed by uh, some amazing people here and people that are driven by our vision uh to make solar mobility a reality and so you can see that these engineers actually want to be at aptera putting this vehicle together and no doubt there's just a big reason why they're so compassionate about the aptera the same reason why we're compassionate about it because of all the wonderful things and many changes it's going to bring to the auto industry as well as to the environment. So, you know, if I had the opportunity to work at Aptera, I would do it too for a cut rate until it came out because we know it's going to make so much money. And that's why I've invested in Aptera. Now, they are taking their time because, you know, they only have so much capital to work with right now. But hopefully we'll be hearing very soon now what's happening with the U.S. capital and the investors that are investing in Aptera. But until then, we know that they're going to continue to slowly put the Aptera together. And once they get the PIs together and they at least start putting them on the road, then we know that it's going to grow exponentially. But anyway, we're going to end it right here. So I'm going to give a shout out to my patrons. Thank you very much. You guys are awesome. I truly appreciate all that you do. I just can't say that enough. I truly do really love all the help that y'all provide me. That helps me, helps motivate me and help me to keep going. But anyway, thank you so much, you guys. And if you're new here, hit the like, ring the bell, subscribe. And more people can hear about Aptera and get on the bandwagon. But anyway, you guys take care. Y'all enjoy the rest of your day. We'll catch you in the next video. Y'all have a good one. Bye-bye.